Oh my god, so did you watch Kingsley on the red carpet for the Brits getting confused about the difference between a cookie and a biscuit? It's totes cute. <laughs> so can we talk about the EU and the fact that Britain might not be a member in the next four months? Because it's making me really stressed. I have been stressing about the fact that the UK is going to have a referendum on its membership of the EU for a while now. Not because I don't think that we should have this referendum. I believe that the people of the UK should be able to have a say as to whether we remain as part of the EU, mainly because I'm I'm really sick of Nigel Farage having so much airtime, frankly. But also because Scotland were able to have their say about whether or not they were going to continue being part of an outdated institution, so I think that we should be able to do the same with the EU, la la! No, what has stressed me out is the fact that nobody on either side of the argument, neither the pros nor the antis, have any interest in educating the public as to the pros and cons of staying in the EU. Both sides are equally guilty of accusing the other side of scaremongering about the future of the UK, be it in or out of the EU. You can't both accuse each other of scaremongering and say that your scaremongering isn't scaremongering. That's that's not how how it works. But politics allows this to work. Why why do I persist in being interested in this kind of stuff. As a person of relatively sound mind, it's no surprise that I, I want to stay in the European Union. Just kidding, I mean I'm only throwing shade because actually the out campaign terrifies me. Not least because they have Boris Johnson on their side, who, despite looking like an adult-sized baby and doing little for London beyond rebranding some bikes and making the most expensive bus in the world, wins elections, like, all of the time. Ha how does he do it? But also because their branding is, is, it's, it's spot on, to be honest. Brexit is a great hashtag. I'm hashtagging Brexit left, right and centre and I want to stay in. But also one of the groups that wants us to leave the EU is called Grassroots Go. And that sounds like something you'd say when you send out your Pokemon to battle, like... That's your UFO right there! Also, somebody spent time and I'm assuming money on this video at Grassroots Go and it's... It's glorious. It's a parody of three lines on a shirt, but with Brexit-themed lyrics. It's genius. It deserves an Ivan Novello. It's got lyrics like, We believe our flag is red, white and blue, more than just a star. Like, guys, I'm, I'm sold. I want to vote Leave so this can become our national anthem. Yes! And while we're talking about the many out campaigns, because none of them have really come together and decided, ah, oh, you're going to be the ones to be flying the flag for us. Um, can we talk about this one from leave.eu, this, this image that they posted. First of all, I hate to be the guy that rabbits on about diversity, but it's really good to see that the only people of any significance on either side of the argument are white straight men. Good job, guys. But also, why, why is Boris Johnson holding a brick? Is it because he's going to smash up Europe? I'm very confused about the brick. Someone explain to me what the brick is for. At least the out campaign gives me some things to giggle about. To be completely frank, the thing that pisses me off most about this whole shitstorm is the fact that David Cameron is a lying tosser. Sorry, David. David Cameron and his side of the media have been feeding us the fact that he's been negotiating really, really hard on, oh, and he's been so tough, and they've been negotiating through the night without rest, apart from the fact that Angela Merkel was able to leave the negotiations to go out in Brussels for some frites, because, you know, that shows how hard it is. Oh, it's really hard. But the stuff that he's come back from Brussels with are not huge sweeping changes to the UK's relationship to the EU and he's painting them as if they are. And that's what pisses me off, is that his campaign, both of the campaigns are based on, on misinformation of people, right? If, what would have been great, if I would have supported this kind of referendum, if David Cameron had been like, you know what, I'm gonna spend the next two years, or however many years, educating the British people as to why it's a really good thing for us to stay in the EU. And there are loads of reasons for us to stay in the EU that I won't go into now because that's like a half hour long video. But he's chosen to whip up spin and fear and misinformation and take that to the British public in a referendum. And that pisses me off because that takes us for fools. And I would like to think that a British public is smarter than that. I'd like to think that we're actually going to, you know, people are going to go away and do their research but then everyone's really scared of immigrants, and I'm like, Ugh. 
If you would like to stay informed, I have some links below. The best guys at the moment for you to be following are an organisation called Full Fact, and they're basically data crunching all of the claims from both sides about the EU, so hopefully you'll be able to you know, look past all of the bullshitty spin, because quite frankly, I don't want to listen to either side right now. And I'm very... Like, I'm reasonably open-minded. I made a video about why I would potentially vote for UKIP last year. Like, I'm relatively open-minded. I know that you guys have been used to me doing LGBT stuff on this channel. I hope you don't mind me dipping back into politics as the referendum comes closer and closer. He says, as like, dozens of people unsubscribe. But I would love to hear your opinions on this. Non-UK people, because I know there's a lot of you, what are your opinions of My Little Island's identity crisis as to whether or not we're going to stay as part of the largest trade block in the world? Sexier words never have been spoken on this channel, they really haven't. Trade blocks. Mm. And if you do enjoy talking about politics, then check out my podcast. We upload every week and we talk about current events, social issues, politics and all of that bollocks. It's great fun. It's good to stick in your ears. There's sirens. Fuck off, sirens. It's good to stick in your ears and listen to for like 40 minutes to an hour uh, every week. It's fun. Uh. I think that's it. There's loads of links to my other social media in the box below. Okay, I have been rhyming with oranges. It was lovely to see you again. Toodaloo! We know the EU's full of flaws Opened our doors, overruled many laws we believe our flag's red, white and blue More than just a star Only wanted trade Now they've gone too far They want prisoners to vote Oh the wall. Look! Look at a dog helping with my SEO! Yes, you're really helping with my white balance as well. Aren't you a good doggy, Bailey? Yeah, you are. I now stink. Let's get out our flats red, white and blue More than just a star